Life is not all glitz and glam for actors, even if it looks like it on screen. Behind those smiles, some of them are fighting tough battles that tragically, they don't always win. So, let's take a moment to remember the soap stars who've sadly taken their own lives. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Alec Musser wasn't just a beloved figure in the soap industry, he was adored throughout Hollywood. His journey in entertainment kicked off with modeling gigs for big names like John Franco Ferre, GQ, and Cosmopolitan, to name a few. After winning the reality TV contest, I Wanna Be a Soap Star, in August 2005, he transitioned into acting, making his soap debut as Del Henry in All My Children. Fans instantly fell for him, leading what was supposed to be a 13-week stint to extend for two years. He remained a recurring cast member from 2005 until 2007. His other works also include the hit comedy movie, Grown Ups, and series like Desperate Housewives and Rita Rocks. But sadly, his time came to an end after he passed away on January 12, 2024. Alec Musser died at the age of 50 from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the chest, as determined by the San Diego County Medical Examiner. His fiancée, Paige Press, found his body at their home in Del Mar, California, on Friday night, and reported his death. The medical examiner's statement revealed that Press discovered Musser seated on the bathroom floor with a firearm nearby, and called 911, who confirmed his passing upon arrival. On January 13, Adam Sandler took to Instagram to pay tribute to Musser, with a photo of him from Grown Ups 2, and wrote, I love this guy, cannot believe he is gone. Such a wonderful, funny, good man. Thinking of Alec Musser and his family, and sending all my love. A true great sweetheart of a person. We still can't believe he is gone. His scenes on both All My Children and Grown Ups will always be remembered. Another shocking death that shook us all was of our beloved young and the restless alum, Billy Miller. Born on September 17 of 1979, Billy passed away just two days before turning 44. His manager, Marnie Sparer, officially announced his death on September 15, 2023, in Austin, Texas, revealing that the actor had been grappling with bipolar disorder and manic depression too. According to the autopsy report, obtained by people from the Travis County Medical Examiner, the daytime Emmy Award winner was found dead in his bathtub with an apparent gunshot wound to the head. Authorities found a revolver loaded with .410 shotgun shells in the actor's right hand, along with multiple letters indicating suicidal intent at the scene. The autopsy also revealed the presence of alcohol and cocaine in his system, with a blood alcohol level of .08. Billy Miller's soap journey kicked off in 2007 with a role in All My Children as Richie Novak. After a year there, he joined The Young and the Restless as Billy Abbott in 2008, earning three Daytime Emmy Awards and numerous nominations. Following his departure from Young and Restless, he joined General Hospital as Jason Morgan in 2014, remaining there until 2019. After his untimely death, Elizabeth Hendrickson among many others took to Instagram to share her memories with him, sharing an emotional message. Today, I should have been sending you a happy birthday text BJ, the actress wrote, recalling her fond memories with him. I hope you know that we are all here now texting each other, sending pictures, and sharing memories of how awesome you were. This hole in my heart will never be filled. Good night sweet Billy, Hendrickson added. When we heard about Roscoe Bourne passing away, it felt like a piece of soap opera went with him. Bourne was an absolute icon in the industry. He has been in the soap since 1981, and has managed to play in almost all the shows. Bourne first made his soap debut in 1981, portraying the role of Joe Novak in Ryan Hopes. Then in 1990, he went on to play a dual role as twins Robert Barr and Quinn Armitage on Santa Barbara, which got him a Daytime Emmy Award too. He later played the role of abusive father, Tom Fisher, in The Young and the Restless from 2005 to 2006, and portrayed Mitch Lawrence in One Life to Live, from 2009 to 2012. That's not all. He also appeared in All My Children, As the World Turns, Guiding Light, and The City. It's been four years since he passed away on March 3, 2020. Bourne died at the age of 69, and according to his family's statement, the cause of death was suicide. In a Facebook post, they stated, Roscoe has long struggled with bipolar disorder, a shadow that he succumbed to when he took his own life on Tuesday, March 3, 2020. We are grateful for the outpouring of kind words and memories. We only wish that Roscoe could have seen how much people still carry his daytime villains in their hearts. 
Roscoe still remains a fan favorite, and his charisma will always be missed. After his death was announced, his Y and her co-star Greg Rickhart shared his heartfelt condolences. He tweeted, Roscoe Bourne was a talented and generous actor and a kind man to boot. He would often say that everything he did was for his daughter. My thoughts are with her and his family today. It's truly heartbreaking to witness such talented individuals lose their lives. It's a reminder that it's never too late to seek help. Though they may have passed away, their works and memories will forever remain with us. Let's honor and remember them in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.